Are you actually working hard or are you wasting a lot of energy? What's happening achievers? I just sit here from Invincible Achievers. Now there's many people that say, I work so hard, I'm working really hard, I, I do so much. But are they truly doing so much or do they think they are doing so much? Now anything we do in life, um, if you're trying to start up a business or trying to achieve a goal, there's always going to be a stage where when you start, you've got passion, you've got excitement, you start moving forward, you know that you want to go down this road. But then it starts to plateau. Once you get to the plateau part, this is where most people give up because they think, oh man, I'm trying everything. I'm, I'm moving things forward. I'm trying, I tried everything and, I, and it doesn't seem like it works for me. But that's not true. What happens is, say for instance, you have 100% capacity. When you start off, your passion, your drive for something new, like when I started off with martial arts, I was, I, I was juiced up, I wanted to move forward, I was going to every single class um, that was available during the week, and I was progressing, and I was going up. My flexibility was getting better, my, my health was getting better, I, I, was sh I, I was getting faster. But then the plateau hit, when all of a sudden the advanced techniques start coming in, and this is similar to anything. We do if you're going to play tennis, if you're playing golf, if you're playing, uh, if you're tr uh, trying to learn a new business, you get to the plateau point. You think it's plateau, but it's actually the path that you need to take. Now, this plateau edging off part is when stuff starts getting tough and your passion and your drive start to be overcome by fear of moving forward, of is this truly for me? Can I truly do this? Can I move things forward? Am I, am I actually doing this correct? All of those thoughts start to plague your mind. Once you start to, once those thoughts start to plague your mind, your energy, the amount of effort that you're using on the thoughts is about 80%. The actual work that you're doing is only 20% at that point until you get to pass the plateau point and you overcome that. You overcome the thoughts, you overcome the self-doubts and the self-beliefs, the limiting beliefs, the beliefs that you probably are dragging along with you from the past saying, this never, this didn't work for me or I tried that sport before and same thing happened, I got to this point and all of a sudden it didn't work for me. This is not for me and then you've got a choice now most people, 90% of the, of the world gives up at that point. It plateaus off and it's finished. They go move on to the next point and they become the jumpers. But if you push past that point, push past the, the mind chatter, then all of a sudden you shoot up again and you think, wow, this is, this is good and your passion starts rising until you reach the next point and it happens again. Now, when you're new to this, if for example, I've started business over, I've started a couple of business, I've lost count, but you go through this process, I'm doing this over at this moment of time. I'm starting a new business and I'm going through that point where I'm passionate, juiced up, and you hear about other people's success in that field and so that fuels the fire to move you forward. Then all of a sudden it plateaus off where you think, they lied to me, this is hard, and all the mind chatter starts to go th in your mind. Once you push past that, all of a sudden, it goes up again. But what actually happened? You just stopped the mind chatter. You had the ability right from the beginning. So to avoid that plateau, stop the mind chatter, just keep moving forward. Just know that that process is gonna come about and just keep pushing forward. Once you do that, that length that you're in the plateau point reduces. Now it doesn't disappear because it is the process. Every single time I speak to someone about this, about achieving something, even myself, it could be martial arts, it could be the business world, it could be in the, in the gym, it could even just be picking up weights. 
you get to that plateau point, but it's the mind chatter that if you reduce, you shoot up to the next point. And I realized this over and over again. I, 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 had, I had forgotten this process until I restarted a new business. And I thought, this is the same thing that I've been going through over and over again. And it's the same thing that all successful people have been through. So when you see the successful people, the people that you're trying to achieve, someone who's actually got the goal that you want, they've been through what you're going through right now. And if you're not going through anything, then start moving forward. Stop the mind chatter and do something. If you want to lose weight, summer is about to come about. Come. If you want to lose weight, get out. Start walking. Just start doing something. Start eating healthy. If you want to uh, uh, start a business, get a course. Start moving forward. Program it. Put, put it into your schedule. Once you've scheduled it in, take action right now and move it forward. But there's one thing. There's another thing that we need to keep in mind, and this is crucial, crucial, really important. And I learned this at a very young age, and this is something that every single person should know and know, especially in this day and age. If you are working or trying to achieve your goal, then achieve that goal and work on it. But if you're spending personal time, family time, a day off, don't think about work. Don't think about, oh, I could have been in the gym or I could have been out doing this or could have, I, I, could, I could have been or I should have been. You're not. Personal time, family time, friendship time is crucial. If you're in that zone, stay in that zone. If people start ringing you, and this is the biggest distraction in life, when people start ringing you, people pick up the phone, it's, someone could be standing in front of you, your family, your, your parents, your brother or sister, your wife, your children, the phone starts ringing and you pick it up. Now, I was sitting with my son and this is really, this is, the reason why I emphasize this is because I learned this at the age of 20, I don't know, very young. Um, when I started my, when I was in my first business, my phone used to ring constantly, 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 constantly. And I thought, this is going to drive me crazy. Why am I constantly getting distracted when I should be enjoying life? That's when I start scheduling the times. And when you start scheduling the times that you pick it up or you leave it to go to answer phone, people start to learn the times to ring you. Then they realize, maybe I shouldn't be ringing you at 10 o'clock at night. Maybe I should ring you at five o'clock when you're at work time or six o'clock when you're coming back from the gym. Now, I was sitting with my son and we were uh, playing his Pokemon cards in his bedroom. And whilst we were playing his Pokemon cards, we start getting into the deep connection point where we're playing. And when you're in that deep connection point, love grows faster. They know you always have love, but love grows faster. My phone started to ring. I looked at my phone. My son looked at my phone. And it was a very urgent call. Very important. And I asked him, Son, this is very important. Do you mind if I pick it up? And he said, No, Daddy, we're playing. And I said, Cool. And I let it go to answer phone. Now, did it end my world? No, it didn't. I got back to that person in the next half an hour and moved things forward. It didn't end anything. We create that urgency. We create that urgency because we want to get distracted from what we're doing. This is crucial again. When you're with your family or with your partner or with uh, or doing something, whatever it is, or even if you're working and you're in a plateau point, distractions will come about and we will pick up the phone or we will start surfing the net. We'll start doing all of that stuff to avoid the situation or to make ourselves seem important. Stay focused, guys. Stay focused on whatever you're doing in the moment. Know the outcome. You're going to achieve it. There is no race. But stay focused and keep moving things forward step by step. Guys, Keep adding value to people's lives, keep achieving, keep spreading the love. And just remember, we're just one idea away from changing 
the future. Take care, guys. Bye.